Okay, let's work on the Tis the Season card. All right, so I have already embossed the front with the Whimsical Wood Woodland um, embossing folder. All right, so there, there was a little trick to that. Let me just real quick. All right, so usually I tell people to put the fold edge in first to the stamp and cut and emboss machine. Well, you couldn't do that and get the trees going the right direction, okay? So what I'm telling you to do is line up at the score line, okay? Have your paper this way, turn it this way, have this be your lead edge. You're still gonna be okay because the pressure is gonna be able to exit out the folder, okay? Um, you just wanna make sure that width-wise you're nice and um, flush so that you don't damage the fold. Okay, all right, so now we're going to take the piece of designer series paper, which came from the gnomes. Uh, there's a whole word. I don't know the name of it. Anyway, take the little trees and then add that onto your piece of Bermuda Bay up near the top. Okay, like that. We're going to take the Tis the Season, which is from Brightest Glow or something like that. Yep, Brightest Glow stamp set. This I used for almost all the sentiments. Um, one of the cards will use the to, your, to You and Yours. One uses the Merry Christmas, the Tis the Season, and the Joy. Okay, so I used a lot of these. It's a great stamp set. All right, so we're just going to ink that up in Bermuda Bay ink and stamp it on the little, um, this is the scalloped oval from the double oval punch. Okay, and then we'll take the sponge. And you may or may not know this, but the more vertical you stay with the sponge, the narrower in it stays. If you tip the sponge more at an angle, you're gonna get more ink on the towards the inside. So whatever the look you're going for, you can achieve, okay? All right. So let's start assembling. So this, layer goes on with just adhesive okay like that this is going to go on with dimensionals and probably probably two is enough if you want to use more than that, you can. But two, I think, will do it. And we're going to just put this over here, kind of like that. Then I'm going to take some of these champagne rhinestones and I take your pick tool and I'm just going to make a little row of three down here in this corner. Okay. So, two and three, okay. All right, and that's that. Quick, easy, gotta love it. And a three by three piece of designer series paper gets you uh, tw uh, 16. 16 pieces out of one sheet of designer series paper, so. Anyway, there you go.